Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. Things are going well in the colony. Our only major um, roadblock and obstacle in the road right now is getting some more colonists, but I'm sure we'll overcome that eventually. I think we're just having a, a string of bad luck, but we, we'll, we'll overcome this bad luck eventually. We're heading into winter time. And because we haven't been able to get a third colonist, that means we're going into winter time and we haven't yet researched clothes making, advanced clothes making. We're gonna go into winter without parkas at first, but once we have no more farming to do, that's gonna free up extra time for our colonists to do some researching, I think. That's the hope at least. We're gonna not, um, we're not going to build any big construction projects in the winter. Hopefully we just wanna have downtime for research. A group of wasters arrived from early, from nearby. They're attacking immediately by a group of wasters. They literally mean one guy with a club. All right. They're attacking immediately. So it looks like Manyaka and Tronka are heading back home anyways. Let's recruit them. And since the wasters are going to be melee, we don't need to worry about finding cover. We just want to find as much open space as we can to shoot them as they come up. So let's go here. We will be waiting. Kid smoke. And as a waster, we definitely don't want to recruit um, Recruit these people. What did Minaka die from? Hypothermia? Or already freezing? All right, well, it's crisis time. Let's go ahead and get Tronka to rescue Minyaka. That'll get them both into the warmth as soon as possible. Uh, we'll let Kid Smoke crawl out of the map if he or she can make it. Nope. Female. She. Uh, it looks like she's just going to bleed out and die there on the ground. Unfortunately, we don't have the resources to heal her back up and save her. Um... How is it inside here? It's 37 degrees Fahrenheit. I think this calls for making an actual campfire in the bedroom. So structure, furniture, or is it temperature? Temperature. Let's build an actual campfire in the bedroom. And let's have Tronka prioritize this. Is Tronka assigned to construction? At a low priority, yes. So Tronka will be able to build a campfire. Because I remember Minyaka is our main constructor. Alright, perfect. So hopefully Minyaka's hypothermia will slowly progress down. Yeah, it looks like Minyaka is fully healed. Tronka is getting healed too. Alright. Alright. It's winter time. Our plants are dying. So really all we're going to need to do. Colonist needs rescue. Minyaka needs rescue again. Alright. Tronka. Rescue her. And he's consuming a meal. All right, Minyaka. See if you can actually consume a meal this time. Barfing everywhere, that's gross. Okay. I don't know what Minyaka's deal is. Why can't Minyaka just stay there? Is Minyaka hungry, is that why? Do we need to feed her? She's starving. Tronka should be able to feed Minyaka. 
Oh, Chunk is already doing that. That's why we can't click on it. All right, there you go. Poor Minyaka. She's dying of food poisoning and hypothermia. She has to crawl out of bed to try to eat, and every time she does so, she collapses in the ground. All right. I worry that that baby's going to have some health issues. Hold on. You need to clean this room before you do any more cooking. This room is filthy. There you go. All right. So we'll continue on with no more farming work to do and construction work to do. It really looks like we really just have hauling, cleaning, and research on the plate for every day. And maybe a little bit of handling if we have some wool and milk to collect. That's it. I think we'll do just fine. We have plenty of food. We can hunt to supplement a little bit in the winter, but I don't want to take our colonist out of the research bench too much. Looks like Minyaka is back at it. Really, we want them to be spending as much time as possible indoors. We'll create a campfire in this room by the um, research bench to keep it warm. I think we built it in the wrong place. We're going to cancel that order. We're going to build it right in the center. There we go. That's perfect. That's better. All right, what's Minyaka up to these days? Hauling, huh? What stuff does Minyaka have to haul? Like pemmican? I guess it's food, it's worth it. If it's food, it's worth it. How are we doing on herbal medicine? Three? We could probably collect herbal medicine as we see it growing. I know we really want to focus on research, but we, we got to do what we got to do. Berries are less important. We have plenty of food and we can hunt if we need extra. It's easy enough to hunt for two people. Plus, look at all this spare extra meat we have. Where's all this meat from? Bird of a turkey and a doe. Rhinoceros meat. Okay. I think this is just from all the hunting we've been doing. And I think we've primarily been doing hunting to collect the leather we needed to make this bedroll. We have almost enough for a bedroll. I think we might need to do one more good hunt. Ah, we already have hunting on the, on the docket. Minyaka is probably going to be hunting when she's done hauling everything. How's she doing with um, temperature? Okay, she's getting hypothermia as she works outside, but then she comes back inside and she's okay. All right, there's a solar flare. Not really too relevant to us. Manyaka's been doing a lot of hauling, which is exactly what we want her doing. Getting everything where it needs to go, finally. This field is starting to get sparser and sparser. Once we see all the grass in this field die, we will go ahead and put some hay grass in the pen for our animals. But for now, it looks like they can still get away with grazing. So we're not going to waste any hay grass we don't need to. Okay, our pantry is completely frozen at this time of year. That's good for us. It's pretty cold in this room. It's up to five degrees. Outside it's 11. Oh, I guess 41 degrees, I should say. Sometimes I look at Celsius and sometimes I look at Fahrenheit. Manyaka has a messed up sleep schedule, but Manyaka's back to hauling. I think when she's done hauling these stone chunks, we should be ready to start researching. Or cleaning at the very least. Because this place is a pigsty. 
Good, last stone chunk. And Tronk is busy cooking up all this extra meat that we have. Hopefully all these meals will be frozen in here. Looks like at the very least they're refrigerated. They might not be frozen, but they're refrigerated, so they'll keep a long time, all these meaty meals. All right. How are our colonists doing um, in terms of their moods? Slept on the ground, awful bedroom, slept in the heat. They have slept on the ground and slept in the heat. Is it really that, that hot in here? There's no winning. It's either too cold with just the torch or it's too hot with the um, campfire. Maybe we deconstruct the campfire and we just build another torch. That might work. See if two torches will be enough. We're doing okay on wood. We still have 460. I just need to keep a close eye on that because if we run out of wood, we're going to start freezing to death. It's important to keep on top of your wood in the winter. There's a bunch of bison here. Interesting. These might be interesting to hunt, but I'm worried that they're pack animals and they'll probably st stampede us and attack us viciously for hunting them. So maybe we leave them be. There's cargo pods. Any goodies? Wart, I think this is from making beer. We're just gonna leave it out there to deteriorate. We don't need that. And that's just gonna give us extra value in the base, which is gonna make the raids tougher for something that's not even worth it. We don't need it. Minyak is finally getting around to cleaning. So this place won't be such a mess. It's good news. And once Minyak is done cleaning, I think she'll have only one more priority and that's um, researching. Minyaka actually needs to pick up her knife again. We shouldn't have let it deteriorate outside so long. And while we're at it, Minyaka, you should haul this body. Consume him. Jeez. This game. Zone. Stockpile zone. Priority critical. We want to clear all and we just want hay in here and maybe kibble if we have any. We're going to have to start feeding our animals. They're going to start starving soon. All right. So Minyaka should start getting some hay over there. Let's prioritize hauling 200 hay into the pen for those animals. All right. It's a start. We'll get the rest of it in the morning. Hopefully none of our animals will starve in the meantime. Yeah. They're doing fine. Their food meter is slim, but not completely empty. I'm so nervous about that baby coming. We're gonna try to do right by this baby, but it's gonna be tough. Oh, all the rats are stealing all our meat. Oh, we need to be more on top of our hauling. All right, we'll start hauling the hay over for our poor animals. Thank you, Minyaka. Tronka is refueling the campfire and continuing to cook. Oh my gosh. We have a lot of meals stockpiled. We might not need to cook a single meal all winter. It's only the 1st of December, which means it still might get colder yet. All right, is Tronka gonna help with some hauling now? No, Tronka's gonna do hunting. I forget, Tronk is our hunter. Get us that plain leather we need. In fact, we have enough plain leather and enough meat. I'm gonna just say, hold off on hunting the last two bucks. Minyak is in her third trimester. Reinstall here. We can set Minyaka and Tronka to this bed.
Let's um, reinstall it with this orientation. I think this will fit the room a little better. We can put a nightstand right there and we can probably reinstall this animal bed to be right at the foot. We could put a crib there too. Gosh, we're gonna need a crib. Um, oh, I was, I thought I, I couldn't see the crib and I thought that this game was gonna try to make us raise a baby without a crib, which would be unbelievable. How's the temperature doing in here now? With two torches, it holds around just above freezing. It's not ideal. Well, they're not getting hypothermia because they're not spending most of their time in the bedroom, but when the baby comes, we're gonna need to be warmer. There are thrombos. All right, we can't mess with thrombos yet. Those will be too tough. The game tells us that we need to prepare for Minyaka to give birth in only six days time. We have a crib built. We have a bed for her to give, um, to give birth in. We have an animal bed here. We just need to make sure this bedroom is nice and clean. All right, where is Minyaka? Hauling, okay. After you're done hauling this milk, Minyaka, you should clean this bedroom. Or maybe we'll get Tronka to do it. Tronka is just playing Hoopstone. Tronka, stop wasting time. Fantastic. Now they shouldn't be getting to sleep, uh, slept on the floor anymore. They still getting eat, ate without a table. And I don't know why that is. We have a table for them right here. That's right next to the pantry with uh, two stools. So there's no reason why they should be eating without a table. Shaman merchant um, is coming into town. All right, let's see what these people are, are wheeling and dealing. Who is our best trader? Social skills three on Minyaka. All right, Minyaka, go ahead and trade with Billa. All right. Now, it is winter time, so we can afford to downsize. We have plenty of alpacas that we could actually sell. For example, we have a two-year-old and a three-year-old that we'll probably keep for breeding and then we can sell the young ones. There's a sheep if we want to start making clothes out of sheep wool, but I think I like our alpaca wool better for this, this environment. And then of course we have a 15 year old male and a, a zero year old male. The zero year old male is going to be worth um, 80 bucks, sure. That'll get us some free value that we can use to buy other things that we desperately need, such as herbal medicine. We don't sell any normal medicine, which is a shame, but we will buy the herbal medicine. All right. They only sell two? Okay. Shame, but we'll still take it. We don't need any of this other stuff. We really don't. In that case, Let's um let's hold on to our alpacas. Yeah, we can get away with just selling the yak calf. The reason I want to hold on to these alpacas is so that we can when they grow up they'll be worth more value because they're not fully grown adults yet and um, they can still produce some wool for us in the meantime. All right, and they left their medicine on the floor and the silver on the floor. Hopefully someone will get around to hauling that tomorrow. And finally, it's actually a decent temperature indoors here. It's still a little chilly, but it shouldn't be too bad. Slept in the cold minus four. All right, but at least they're not gonna get hypothermia and the poor baby will be safe. Let's have one person prioritize researching over hauling and cleaning. And I think the perfect person to do this Let's see, research level of three on Tronka.
Let's move hauling and cleaning to priority four for Tronka so Tronka can do some research for us. All right, starting tomorrow, we're going to get our clothes researched and then we need to get furniture researched so we can build school desks and whatnot for the baby. This will be the kid's bedroom when the kid is old enough. Um, and this is our prison. We might need to build another house if we do any, if we recruit any other colonists, but that still seems a while off. We've been getting really bad luck. Every colonist that comes into our colony for raiding ends up dead either of an infection or directly dead from the raid. Colonist needs rescue. What's wrong with Manyaka? Serious hypothermia? Oh, that's not good with the baby on the way. Come on, Chanka. You have some rescuing to do. Okay, hypothermia is going down big time. It's actually okay in this this room too, so Tronka shouldn't be having any issues with that. Okay, Minyaka, I need you to pick up this knife though. We're not leaving it outside to deteriorate. Alright, and it's morning time. So now that we reprioritize Tronka to prioritize research over calling and cleaning, hopefully Tronka will just spend all day researching. Definitely not going to be making any meals because we have plenty of those in stockpile. Perfect. That's exactly where we want him. All right, we're going to get this researched in no time. Looks like it's about one research point per second, so we just need to wait 900 seconds. All right. We can wait 900 seconds. That's not too bad. What's 900 seconds? That's 600 seconds, which is, what, 10 minutes plus another 5 minutes, so 15 minutes? A mangled figure is approaching the colony. He wants to talk. You can send a colonist to hear what he has to say. What? This is a new event. This must be from the Anomaly DLC. I've never seen this before. All right, Minyaka. Minyaka, actually, I don't trust this guy. I'm going to send Tronka. I know Minyaka has a better social skill, but I don't want this guy messing with Minyaka right before the pregnancy. We'll wait for him to come to the colony. We're not going to come come over it all the way down to him. Minyaka, I hope you're not getting hypothermia out there. Minyaka is. All right, Tronka, go ahead and talk to Voronov. The mangled stranger stares at you with empty eyes and speaks of a broken voice, speaks in a broken voice. He claims to have escaped from a terrible cult and begs to join your colony. Voronov claims to be gifted with the dark art of animating dead flesh. He can turn corpses into hideous flesh beasts. He may be very useful, but you also sense there is something Voronov is not telling you. Let's postpone. Let's check out this guy's stats. I care more about his stats at this time. He has a flesh tentacle for his left shoulder, a fleshy muscle tentacle resembling partial transformation into a flesh beast. The tentacle is excellent at manipulation. All right, so he has 110% manipulation, and because one of his eyes is gone, he only has 75% sight. His bio. Um, he has potential in shooting and melee, but he kind of sucks at both of them. He kind of sucks at everything. Though, what's good is he's incapable of nothing. He's a slow poke, which isn't great, and he has an ability to shape flesh. Induce a dark architect to reconfigure a corpse into a horrendous flesh beast. The flesh beast will be hostile to all humans, including the one who created it. This might be good for... Yeah, this might be good for raids. We just need to gamble that the raiders manage to kill the beast before it kills them. Because then we have to kill and deal with the beast. But okay, let's recruit this person. Um, hopefully we don't regret it, but right now we need bodies, and this person promises to be just that. Alright. Allow Voronov to join. Okay. We've got part man, part tentacle here. Wow. Cooldown is only one hour? 
seems like a really overpowered, um, overpowered ability. He's basically a necromancer. Let's go ahead and set Voronov's priorities. His priority number one and two is going to be firefighting. He's not a good doctor, but neither is anyone, so we might as well have him do some doctoring. Bedvest is unfortunately not going to be in the cards for anybody. Minyaka is going to be in charge of child care. Let's see. He has decent passion for hunting. Is it animals or is it shooting? I think it's shooting that he likes. Well, yeah, we'll let him hunt. Sure, he can hunt. Mining? Let's actually just look at his bio again. Because we don't need any crafting, tailoring, or smithing, but he'll eventually do that for us because he has a minor passion in it. What's your bio? How are you at plants and animals? You suck. We really don't need you helping on the farm. Um, okay, so we don't want him helping on the farm, so... Basically, I think we should have him on hauling and cleaning second priority number two. Warning, this kind of work is opposed by his ideologian, so it may make him unhappy. Okay, so until we recruit him, we actually can't have him hunting or mining. So really, he's just going to be a resident janitor. He's going to haul and clean. Um, he'll probably be decent at researching, too. So after he's done hauling and cleaning, he can do dark study and research. Alright, that sounds good. I'm still not going to have him do any dark studying just yet. I don't want to mess with anything that might end our colony immediately. Does this guy come? Minor break risk. Does this guy have a minor break risk? Yeah. Yeah, he does. His flesh tentacle just gives him a minus six mood penalty. Well, hopefully we can surgically remove it and replace it with like um, a prosthetic eventually later down the road. Um, we're going to need some torch lamps in his room to keep it warm. Um, seems like three does the trick. So we're going to go ahead and install one, two, three. And I think we still have a bedroll somewhere. Did we deconstruct the bedroll? No, we do. So let's go ahead and deconstruct that and let's install this bedroll for Voronov right there. All right, Voronov, we're trusting you. The game text told us that we can we can sense you're not being completely honest with us. But um, at this this time, we really just need anyone we can get. All right, so since um, Voronov is prioritizing hauling and cleaning. Most of that work will probably get done by him. So we can have that as absolute last priority for everyone else. Actually, I th I'm happy leaving this on level 3 for Minyaka, because Minyaka is still going to prioritize first, taking care of the, chi the children and the prisoners and the animals. Second, um, farming. Um, no, Trunk is our farmer, sorry. Just taking care of the children, prisoners, animals. Um, I think second, Minyaka can do hauling, because there's going to be a lot of hauling to do. Third, Minyaka can do... No, Minyaka should cons prioritize construction over hauling, because Voronov's going to be doing hauling. And then finally, research and mining. Okay, that's fine. All right, they're married. They're celebrating. Hooray. Opinion of my husband, Tronka. Recreation fully satisfied. Got some lovin'. Very low expectations. Got married to Tronka. These people's mood is fantastic. That's perfect because we're about to deal with a traumatic experience when uh, Minyaka gets birth. A weaver from the Pact of Born is visiting the colony. She is named Gotox Cheetah Caro. There's a new quest. Benyo Antelope, Christ's chief treaty of Guaboa, is looking for safe settlement to take care of her pet 
Alpha Beaver van for nine days. Possible reward is Beast Warrior joining. Beast Warrior is a 32-year-old Neanderthal who's really good at melee, crafting, cooking, okay, plant animals, okay, incapable of social. If we didn't just take on a new recruit and about to recruit another baby, I'd say that's a good reward. But since we did all that, I'd rather take the recurve bow and the 85 silver. The masterwork recurve bow is going to be fantastic. Voronov does not come with any weapons, so we're going to need a weapon for Voronov. And I think Voronov is going to be given a bow for shooting. There's a mad donkey. Jesus. Pods arrived. Van. Alright. We need to take care of this mad donkey, so Minyaka and Tranka, you need to get out here and defend this beaver or else the mad donkey's gonna beeline for the beaver. As crazy as that sentence sounds. It's a manhunter pack now. Raccoons. Oh Jesus. Oh, it's just two raccoons. They call that a pack. That's scared. That scared me. Alright. Let's deal with this donkey. Come on, Chaka, you need to be a better shot than that. There you go. Okay, perfect. The donkey is down. Manyaka, I need you to melee attack the donkey to death and Trunk, I need you to stand on guard for those raccoons to come. Where's this beaver? Where's Van? Alright, Van. Stay safe. What does a beaver eat? I guess we'll find out later. I have a feeling with a game like this, even though it's not true, it's gonna be something like wood. Jeez, Minyak is getting beat up right before her ch her childbirth. That's not good. All right, go ahead and get some warmth. Minyaka needs to get treated immediately. Poor Minyaka. Any permanent damage? No, just some scratches and some hyperthermia. Tronka, when you wake up, I need you to make this um, plain leather, install this plain le leather bedroll for Voronov. Oh, Minyaka's doing it. All right. All right, Minyaka, you pushed yourself. Tronka is going to take good care of you. Tronka has been a good husband. Okay. He's feeding her and she's doing okay. Okay, Van is just chilling out. I think we can assign this to Van, this sleeping spot. Perfect. Van will sleep in here with us and the baby. Okay, Madaka should be, yeah, Madaka is doing all right healing so far. Tronka, I need you to prioritize installing this bedroll for Voronov so Voronov doesn't go nuts from sleeping on the floor. All our colonists are getting food poisoning for reasons beyond me. I thought by this time Tronka would be a decent cook. No, cooking level is still at four, less than ideal. Um, let's check out Voronov's religion just so we're aware with it. The supremacist. Killing innocent animals is disapproved, mining is disapproved, and cutting trees is disapproved. Okay, these two are gonna be, actually all three of those are probably gonna be a problem for us. So we're gonna need to try to con um, convert, convert this dude as soon as possible. 
Alright, Minyaka, what are you trying to do? You need to be resting. In fact, you need to be resting, so I'm willing to prioritize bed rest for you. Minyaka has a shooting frenzy, so her shooting will be more accurate for the next 8 days. Too bad she's a melee specialist. Did she get her um, her knife back? She did not, and I don't know what happened to her knife. Did it make it into storage? It did. All right, Manyaka, once you're feeling better, I'm gonna need you to go get your jade knife back from storage. All right, Voronov is being very useful, and Voronov comes pre-installed with a toque, a cloth robe. So Voronov's probably not freezing too badly. How are we doing on wood? Wood, we only have 166, so it's probably worth going zone, orders, um, chop wood. Let's get some more wood stockpiled. Oh my gosh, look at Voronov's face without um without a hat on. Voronov looks absolutely like a Frankenstein monster. Jesus. Alright, this is probably a good place to call it. We finally have three colonists, which is freeing up a lot more time for Tronka to be researching this winter, which is exactly what we need. It's slow going, yes, but eventually we will get there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.